Microsoft Word 2010, Easy Shortcut Keys. In general, PC users can be divided into two camps, those who use shortcut keys and those who do not. Well, in Microsoft Word 2010, Microsoft has attempted to blur that line, and I think they've done a pretty good job of it. One of the biggest issues with shortcut keys is remembering them all. People generally just don't take the time to think about all of the different shortcut keys and remember them and call them up in the moment. Well, now we don't have to. The Alt key, which is either just to the left or just to the right of your keyboard, accesses the easy shortcut keys. So I'm going to go ahead and hit my Alt key, and you'll see a 1, 2, 3 at the very top, then an F, H, N, P, S, M, R, W, L. Each of those letters will access the functions on that tab. If I'm looking for something on the Home tab, I would simply hit H. Now that I've hit H, I can see all of the specific options on that tab. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit L, and that's going to take me right into my style gallery. Now I can move around the style gallery with my arrows, and I can change up my style. And I'm going to make this a title. And I did that all without having to touch my mouse. If I want to change up the margins of my page, Again, I'll hit the Alt key. Now I'm going to hit P to get to my Page Layout tab. Now I'm going to hit the M to access Margins. And I'm going to choose Normal. And I've changed my margins up. If I hit the Alt key and then hit the F, that takes me in to my Backstage view. Now I can see all of the different options here with the Backstage view. R takes me to my Recent then I can see all the specific files and open them up. If I want to pin them, I can just hit the Y3, Y4, whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a different file, and I'm going to open up the Big Bean Buzz custom styles. So those easy shortcut keys really are just that. All you have to do is remember to hit the Alt key to access them, and then go ahead and hit the letter of the tab that you want to go to then find the function and click that letter. If you want to back out of it at any point, if you realize that you're in here and you really don't want those shortcut keys up there, you can hit your escape key on your keyboard. That backs you out one level. And if I hit escape again, it takes them away altogether. And that's how we can use easy shortcut keys in Microsoft Word 2010.